Good morning. Today we're going to do a zinnia block. I'm working out of Farm Girl Vintage 2 Book of Lori Holtz. And I thought this was really, really, really cute. I love, this is my favorite flower. I don't know flowers. I lived on a farm. Grandma tried to teach me and I had no desire at all. I don't like dirt. I don't like to hoe. She had a three acre garden and I just... <sighs> People either like dirt or they don't like dirt. Okay, you can make either a six, this is a six inch, or a 12 inch block. Here's the 12 inch. Okay, and then I thought I'd put my little bling around it, which I thought was really cute. This is poppy cotton, and I think it's called Country Roads. And I thought it was really cute. It'll go into my blue kitchen really well. So I got everything cut out, and this is a board I put it on. And today, what are we giving away, Lynn? P1. What? P1 is the... A P1? Yeah. Okay, we're giving away a P1. So, I'm going to lay everything out how it needs to go, and I can't give you measurements, obviously, because it isn't my pattern. So what I'm going to do is lay everything out. I got some of it sewn already. So, I don't have to do it all. So I'm just going to get ready to do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I got the first little corner things done and this corner things done. So what I'm going to work on next is the petals. This is really, really, really simple. Simple. She's got everything really well laid out. And what I'm going to do, which Lindsay will think is ugly, but I think it's going to be cute, <laughs> is I'm going to take and hang this. Okay, you know how you go into a dinette and you've got that wall going up like this? I'm going to probably put a few of these above instead of like you could put plates, you could put something else. And I just painted my kitchen, remember, blue and I want to put it up there and I can change them out and do whatever I want and I thought this would be really cute. So what you want to do is you're going to do a snowball the corner here. So I'm going to draw my line. I've got my laser light on here and what I'm going to do is just glue the corner and then I don't have to pin it. The less work I got to do I'm always like happy little camper. Always, always, always like happy, happy, and happy. So I think this is really, really cute. I'll do the same thing on the other side. But I like everything all figured out before I ever go to the sewing machine because I don't want to I like to work smart instead of hard and I don't want things to move so we're just going to snowball all of this this was really easy I kept going back and forth on this, but I think this is really, really cute. It'd be a cute pot holder, but I think it's just darling. So what I'm going to do is sew just to the right of this line, just like one thread over. change my stitch length to a two just so it's just smaller just by a titch of course I changed my needle this morning because I always change my needle and I'm gonna switch it going this way on the other little snowball Set 
my seams. And I'm going to cut a quarter inch from this side. Quarter inch from this side. This is really cute. I just think this is so adorable. I don't know how cute it'll be hanging, but I think it'll be darling. We'll just press it. Just as cute as heck. And what I'm going to do, now that I got that all done, is I'm going to sew all this stuff. Then you're going to sew this. This is C to this little block. I got most of it done for you, so it doesn't take so long. I need to change my quarter inch, drop my stitch length to a two again because this is pretty small. I'm right, going this way. Let's change my laser. I love that thing. That thing helps immensely. You kind of got something to sew to. I just thought this was so cute. I don't know flowers, this, but this is one of my favorite flowers. If I was going to pick a flower, but I'm not, I'm not good at flowers at all. It is so cold here today. We've had some really good weather, and now it's like freezing. It was so cold this morning, I got up and I thought, oh my gosh, I could wear a sweatshirt all day. And I'm going to put this on the bottom. poppy cotton fabric. It's so adorable. And then I got new pink dishes. I was so excited. So I made new napkins and I was going to show that. And they are so, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, the pink napkins are darling. And this I'm going to open up the seam. Don't forget next week's pre-recorded. Oh yeah, next week will be pre-recorded. Lindsay is taking Jada to Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Jada's got a really bad shoulder from swimming. So I'm going to see what's going on with it because I can't find something wrong here. So she's going to go take Jada. That's going to be pre-recorded. And send up some prayers that they find what's wrong. She's really got a bad shoulder. Poor kid. Nothing worse than having a bad shoulder, I think, anyways. So that'll go there. Did I 
this is so cute. My grandmother would think this was the cutest thing in the whole wide world. Oh my gosh. Grandma, every meal had fresh flowers. And you go. It was amazing. Amazing. Okay, so this is here. So I gotta put this on this side. But this is a really it's a really cool book. I really, really like it. Lindsay's going to let me cut her hair curls. I get a whole half an inch to cut off. I was like, wow. <laughs> She's growing her hair long, and she is going to let me cut a whole half an inch off. And I'm going, wow. <laughs> oh, makes me laugh, kind of. And then I'm going to put three quarter inch scallops around this one also. And then I'm going to cross hatch it just like the other one. I was going to use my Sachiko machine and I thought, eh, I'm not, I'm lazy. I didn't want to get it out. So I just did it on my regular machine. Then I'm just going to sew the bottom.
Okay. Let me open up these seams. Let me show it show you what I got so far. I'll try to get this open. Can you show what's holding up your book? Yeah. This thing I got in Ohio, it was made by the Amish. And I saw it and I thought it was the coolest thing. I saw it and the Amish have the, okay, I go to a show, I don't even remember where it was, for original sewing and quilting and they had this and I said, and it was a display. <laughs> And I said, can I buy it? And the lady said, sure. And I said, go girl. So I bought it and I have used it all the time, like to hold up books and stuff. And it's wonderful because I want to be able to see what I'm doing and have something to hold up my books because if it's laying flat, then you got to, and I'm so tall and all, and it drives me crazy when I can't see what I'm doing. And I, you know, like when it's clear up there, you know, as we get more mature, we're not as sighted. Okay, let me hold this up. So then I'm going to sew the three rows. And isn't that just cute? And then you just sew these three together. Just, I love this flower. I just always have, and I've never, I've never known what the name of the flower is. And I was like, oh yes, there it is. So I'm gonna put this in my kitchen. My husband will probably think it's ugly, and I'll probably take it down. But well, I can try. And I mean, this was so quick to put together. I cut these yesterday because I kept pondering what I was going to do. I went back and forth. Then I was going to knit one of my, I have made so many dishcloths in my life. I can't express to you how many I've made. It was like, I was going to do that. And then I was going to do this. And I've been wanting to do this for so long because I want to do it in my kitchen. And my husband loves to destroy things in our house, but he doesn't like to put back. And my kitchen will probably never be finished as long as I live. So... I want to make bread, so Lindsay offered me her house to make bread in, which I might take her up on. Because I make bread every week.
and voila, we have got a 12 by 12 little cute, is that the cutest thing? Then I'm going to figure out how to do my rubber cup and quilting calculator. And you need about three and a quarter, and it's 12 by 12. calculated and you would need two strips so you'd need a total of four and you'd have extra to put on another one to do this little guy all the way around. So that's what I'm going to do with this. So I'll put this in my one little dinette and I'll put this in my other one. And I think it's just darling. Just cute as heck. So we're giving away what today, Lynn? Let's do a P three quarter because that's what that is. A P three quarter. Okay. And the winner today is Judy Phillips. Congratulations, you won a P three quarter. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and God bless all of you and have a wonderful week.